Welcome back everyone to episode 21 or slash 22 of the preview version of Shadow Empire and this will be the last video in the series uh, this series for this planet start I will be starting a new planet in the next episode so um, we'll call that a new series which means this one is coming to a close and I may even still play on with this one a little bit I, I'm having a lot of fun I, I have to say that the Siwa worlds the Earth-like worlds they really are my favorite. I have, you know, plenty of experience with the planet types now. I mean, not plenty, but I have played several, maybe five or six games. I at least started and gotten going a little bit on the desert planets. Um, I on the most recent stream for Slytherin, I did a, uh, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's the desert planet that has a little bit of water. Um, it's the first column second row um, of choices so I don't know as Lee it begin but I think it begins with the now Lemos maybe yeah I think it's Lemos anyway so that's that's where we're going with this series so this will be the last one we'll just try to power through kill some rebels and then see if we can get flag peak and Costello stabilized we may or may not be able to do that before the end of this episode another goal being of course we want to take Minos as well I'd prefer not to take Minos before at least one of these two gets stabilized so that I can shift all the troops over to the other one. And we also unfortunately had a decision, I think, for... Oh, it looks like we already took care of it with like Rebels or something in, um, uh, what's it called, in Omicron. So anyways, this has been a really successful series from the, just the standpoint of gameplay, like we've, we've done well, we've expanded. I, I know that we're way behind in the points, which I can show. Um, okay, so we're number two, actually. But, you know, Falca, the Falca Imperium is way ahead of us. I think that we would be able to catch up. I think that we, I mean, as we've seen, we've already started to make our our huge ascent in uh, score. Because we, we, at one point, we were only half of what the um, Picard commune was. Now we're over them and I think we're gaining ground so I mean we have another city we'll conquer here another one right here after that we'll have to do a little bit of work to see where we would want to go next maybe it is to even take out the Picard commune I wouldn't want to do that in like in any hasty manner just because we have been more or less friends with them so I think this is not a good move we have four to one odds we'll wait on that we'll wait we can probably deploy some artillery over there at some point um, I like tanks. I think I'm going to move this unit right here. Um, the reason is I think it'll be closer to everyone. No, it might actually be just perfect where it is. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave it to where it is. Uh, we can attack this unit. Who else can attack? So we've already done bombardment then, and I think probably eliminated that unit. What kind of odds are we looking at here? 3.3 with the, yeah, with it, with, yeah, not even including the, this tank. So let's do this. I think we'll attack from this side. That will eliminate the, uh, the retreat path. We may, I think we are going to attack with the HQ itself as well. And this one. So what happens if we do this? 23 to 1. Let's just go for it. We did lose machine guns, but that's okay. We can afford a few losses. And the next thing is just to make sure that Costello itself is protected so we don't lose that outright. Put some more troops in there. I think I will put the HQ there. You know, not, it's not a really big deal. And this is Tortugan Regime. We'll, we'll get this to be Costello. Let's see if I can do that. Does it count it as something we can do? No, not probably not until next turn. So it's part of our regime, but it's not part of his own. It might just automatically be added to Costello. I can't tell. We might need to go down and conquer it. Well, we'll see. We'll just wait to see what happens next turn. Uh, let's see, by the way. Movement. Oh, this guy can get there. Hmm. Yeah, bizarre. He's not considered part of anything now. I did move my unit out of the city to do that, but okay. It's I, I'm going to prefer... 
any kind of actions which give us insight or just like help us to learn about the game, even if it's not the most efficient thing, I'll probably be prioritizing those kind of actions. So, okay, otherwise that all looks good. I think we're just gonna rifle through these decisions, protests. Um, okay, so we'll have to use autocracy here. Uh, we'll go. And they gained 50 unrest in 20 fear. My God, jeez, holy uh, cow. We'll, we'll delay the uh, city we'll upgrades. Go. Okay, flag peak, maybe it'll be a little bit better. Um, yeah, 100 uh, we'll credits go. to make them to make the problem go away. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we want to do for this one. Um, the light tanks are probably still our best bet because they have been improved a lot. Uh, let's see, what are we looking at here? 60, 50, and medium. So just for fun, because we can, let's make a new design. 60, 50, and medium. And let's see how the two stats compare. Um, between those two, I definitely want to go with enforcement, even though it will lower my merit. Oh, this is government. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll go with enforcement. Yes, sir. Roger that, sir. And there we go. So I think we can... Uh, we don't really need to focus too much on assets, but I will just scroll around to the different ones, see if there's anything I wanted to build. Uh, industry has one turn left. Everything else is done. We're sitting on a lot of industrial points. Okay, well, let's just look and see what else we might want to build here, because obviously industry, the next round, is going to be done next turn, so no problems there. Um, we might want to get the next oil field. Uh, sorry, not oil field, solar field. Although power is looking good. We're 267 positive. Okay, maybe we don't need to worry about power for a little bit. We could get our own uh, machinery production going on. I don't know about this one just because I don't think we need a continuous supply of machinery. Is there something which is actually losing machinery per turn or is this just to build stuff? Because if it's just to build stuff, then eventually we'll, we'll run out of buildings to build, you know, in theory. And a lot of these um, buildings that I like the most, they don't even require the, um, uh, the machine parts. So I think university is the winner then. Out of everything else, university is gonna give us a small research bonus. So we'll do that one. Um, let's take a look over here, Omicron. What is your situation? You're really climbing up as far as quality of life or whatever improvements are causing you to be, for people to be happy. Yeah, so we have one turn left in both of these. Next turn, it should be done. And we already started upgrading the truck station, so we won't do anything else. We also got a recycling center being built. Flag peak, things are, the going is a little bit difficult. University finished. Um, hospital has 1.8 left and it's going at 7.75, so that's a three turn operation. It might be less than that now that university is finished, so long as I don't build something new. So that's what I'll do, as in not build something new. And we'll end the turn and I'll see you back when the turn's done. Oh boy, well I noticed that I'm on the wrong recording profile, which is a real bummer. But hopefully it won't matter too much. I hope the quality isn't affected too much. It should be affected, but maybe it's just not noticeable in a game like Shadow Empire. <laughs> and the other game I, I'm recording right now is Rule the Wave, so I don't think that one will be affected either. With nine decisions, it's quite a few. Um, I'm imagining we're going to get some rebels and stuff like that again. Nuclear plant. That's really cool. So we can basically convert radioactives to power now. And we got a new light tank. Right away, I think, I mean, this is not important for the long term. Uh, national budget, it must already be on our list of things. Yep, there it is. So I wanna drop the model console down even more, probably to 6%. We'll lower it to that, we'll lock that in. Staff cancel, council, and I feel like we have most everything we need, need but I'll let the 7% bump happen. Applied, I'll leave that, yeah, we'll take a 1% bonus there, blah, blah, blah. This got enough percent, this one didn't. I might shift this to military instead. You know what, no, I'm okay with the economic consultation. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing we need the most, probably. Um, well, military, okay, let's, let's give it to military. Confirm, no big changes there. And economic council task priorities. 
Hey, this is something I would like to look at. Let's actually take a look at the tech tree. Because we have a lot of these yellow things, which is good. These are <clears throat> applied engineering, though. This is... This has got to be military. Applied science, applied science. Mining techniques is economic. I think, actually, yeah, that might be... You know, the only problem is that once you start researching it, you can't see what the impacted field is or what the um, where it draws its research points from. Applied science, economic council, military research becomes unknown as soon as it's um, started. With applied engineering, I'd imagine a lot of these will be applied science. But for conventional small arms, that's got to be military. Mining techniques. I'm going to guess economics. That just seems like an economics thing, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even know what, what the heck are we researching right now. There's only one way to find out. It's to go over to our reports. Okay, so... Economic Council, what are you researching? You are researching mining techniques. Hmm. So I thought originally that this was a tech um, was a thing that would have a bonus. Oh wow, the mine that we had here is gone. So that might be where we're having some problems with metal. In which case, let's just go ahead and buy this one. It's not going to make the people in Tabugama very happy, but I think it's a necessary maneuver. So. Yeah, metal mine, because we're getting, what, 280 out of this? And we could be getting... Uh, we'll find out, I guess. 250? Really? Huh. That's not, that's not, that's not an improvement. <laughs> Maybe there's no good reason to do it then. There should be, though. And what is this? Also something, metal mine... Yeah, it's interesting. Maybe I will let the community control it. They will give me a kickback of metal. I mean, the biggest thing is I need to... I probably need to get this metal mine going as well. And then um, we can... Well, Tevagama is going to be a lot of metal. But that's the only way we can avoid the 6 hex administrative strain thing. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Oh, it actually can make it. Although this is one thing I'm not sure about. I, I believe it's as the bird flies, or as the crow flies, as they say. Um, but maybe it counts road hexes, because I was wondering why this one... Sorry. The administrative strain for this one... No, that's a direct path. Birds fly, and the way my roads get to it are the same distance. Obviously, the bird would fly like this, but that's the same hexes as the road goes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Have to say okay well, well let's just do the decisions then um yeah i think priority on research prospecting is good this is fine so no changes or i could have confirmed it staff council discovering orders of battles is probably slightly more important but i would say that these are actually both less important let's go down to 28 let's go down to 28 for this one as well or even 26 and pros postures, 26, 20, that's fine. We'll confirm that. So which council is that? Staff council? Yeah, that one I do not need a lot of points put into. And model design council. So the big question for me is actually I want to see Crusader 3 versus Blitzer. Let's go ahead and take a look. Excuse me. Hopefully my mic has been all right. It was kind of pointing away from me. <laughs> All right, so punish troops. Wait, we are in need of 40? What do we have at the first HQ? Yeah, we have 40. Yeah, we're not in need. We actually need to replenish infantry. Okay, so we'll get 1,300, which is 13. We'll get 2,000 just to satisfy for the future. Um, we need some light armor as well. 
And yeah, this is the, the question we want to ask ourselves is how is the Crusader 3 versus the Blitzer? I think we can rename these as well, but okay. So 528 versus 434. Okay. 264 versus 217. Um, 348 versus 245 or 285, 232 versus 190. So it looks like in every way, 13, 13, 42. Okay, the cost is the same, and HP is better. So in, in every way, the Crusader 3 is better than the Blitzer. That's I guess that's good to see, right? Because we kind of expect that. So let's build the Crusader then. We only need I think one of those. Uh, yeah, so we'll only produce one because these cannot be upgraded, so you, I don't think you want to overproduce as much. And we have plenty of machine guns waiting for the transfer, so we'll leave those there. Now, how does it work? This SHQ, I guess, needs troops as well. No, it looks like all of them are under. I guess I might have to transfer troops to new SHQs. Uh, where's your leader? Oh, I think he's in here. Yeah. So, let's... Uh, oops. Let's, uh... Yeah, man. Change to second HQ. Okay. Now we've set you to the second HQ. And I think that that means that this one now has a demand for 10 armor. Honestly, what I should do is just transfer the, t the the 10 between these two. And I think I can do that to... How do I, I'm, I think there's a way I can do this. Transfer to... Hmm. This is same group, but I want to send troops. Transfer. Okay, perfect. Transfer troops and items between SHQs. That's what I want to do. So let's go to the first and let's transfer this to the second. Okay, interesting. Um, this is food, water, and all that stuff, but what I wanted to do is down here we want to send one of these. Now which which way am I going? From first to second. Okay, good. So let's transfer the these guys. And didn't work. Transfer. Transfer from first HQ to second. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Cannot do it. Hmm. We might not have enough logistical points. So let's transfer four ammo. Yes, just to see what happens. That, so I guess you got more ammo, but. Okay, curb points. We don't have enough points. Okay, so it is points. Why is that though? It might see this might be because oh we have no power. Oh my goodness. That is a problem. That is not something I considered. Huh. So that is interesting. I'm so glad I've done this. So no I mean my <laughs> playstyle up to this point was never to to make a second SHQ, <laughs> you know, with the new logistics changes, I think things are going to be a little bit more challenging, require a little bit more management on that front. With railroads before, I could just connect things with railroads and we, I never had a problem with one, with more than one. It's never needed more than one Supreme headquarters, but now with things are going to get a little bit tricky, I think. Well, interesting, but yeah. I don't fully understand why the rail's not working between these two, and I, I'm just, I'm just have to guess 
that this is related to okay could it be related to power I don't think so I think it's related to not having a railhead which I cannot build because it's not part of this save what if I just build a rail station so let's just build a rail station and see if that acts as a rail although we don't have any power so how how's anything gonna happen I don't know yeah, it's definitely time to restart, because I'm not sure exactly how we're even going to do this. Let's do something interesting. Let's just create, let's just build a Grunts 4, which is exactly the same thing, and see if we are able to take advantage of the field training to improve the numbers at all. Okay, Demagogue, um, 19 versus 203. It's going to create a lot of unrest, so we'll just do this, because we're going to be fine with unrest. And we'll give them credits. Uh, Basically, we know that we're not going to get favorable rolls for anything, but just allowing the unrest to increase. Uh, we'll so we'll allow the rebels to form. Uh, we'll go. Okay, new SHQ leader. Probably Pam here looks good. She's actually quite capable, though. I think I'm going to choose this one instead. Because I don't think you need a very good commander for in charge of the SHU itself. Okay, so the rebels spawn right here. It's not bad for us. They're contained at least. Um, <clears throat> rebel spawn probably right here. Then must be right there. So we're good. Yeah, like why? Why is this happening? Why is the logistics cut off? It might have been, somebody might have already even mentioned this in the log, in the, the comments. Because I've been behind checking comments. Let's just look here. Oh my good lord, that's, that's too much. <laughs> we'll just do the hex to the north just to look a little bit, keep things a little bit easier. Receive 225. Yeah, received 990 rail points. Sent re Am I just looking at the wrong thing? It should be working. I don't understand this. Received 990 from south, sent 990 north. Received 215 north, sent it south. Received 8 south, sent it north. Received 4 from the south. Yeah, I'm, I'm frankly, I'm not understanding this. I'm really not understanding this. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to back it on up. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. But it says we're using all of that rail capacity, but for what? I don't understand. Just to supply these guys, or did they ship new troops or something? I don't know. I really don't understand it. That's only the current points, the one in green that I showed, so there might be a reason why it's not. Anyway, let's not bog down. We have a mission, and that is to try to pacify the Flag Peak people. And we did not make a whole lot of progress. I guess we are expecting that to be two more turns, so in that sense, we actually are on pace, sadly enough. Um, I'm not sure. The rail might knock us off that pace, but... Hmm. Okay, so let's start pushing our units around. I think this is a safe maneuver. And this, and there they are. We finally see them. Is it worth attacking? Four to one odds, not great. I don't think so. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this, nah, I'm not. I've thought about it and I've decided that's not the right course of action. Okay, as I said with this, we're gonna move and try to take the ground behind him. Um, so that he doesn't get into the big mountains. Move that guy there. We're probably going to have plenty. Yeah, we really do have plenty of industrial points. Okay. And we also want to build a road here, I think. 
This is might be a bit expensive, 60, because we are you know, building a bridge. One, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is still not too bad, or I could actually do it with two different roads, but I think we'll just do the one. And then next turn we can build a metal mine there. Um, we can build our metal mine here if we want. How are things looking in Omicron? They're back up to okay. And how's loyalty? Up to 40. That's good. So things are actually settling down in Omicron. That's really good. Uh, so we have one turn left. We, we built at 0 0.96. I don't think we'll be able to finish it then, this next turn. But um, And recycling almost finished, so it, it, that will finish next turn. I don't know if it's time to do the rare metal or not. So I think I'll just wait. We'll just wait on it. How did construction come over here? University went, got one turn finished. And everything else is just sitting pretty. Okay. Okay, well, let's um, get to some attacks then. We can do bombardment here. Is this, uh, eh, it's so funny that this artillery is not getting reinforced. I just don't understand it. I kind of figure these things out. And I, I think that maybe there's people who are even leaving helpful comments. And I'll have to make sure I'm going through those. So we can eliminate this one this time, at least. Fifteen one is good enough. Looks like we lost a commando. But defeated them. Good. Um, okay, so then we need to position... We need to start positioning ourselves a little bit north. Like you have to move here. There they are. Actually, we do want them out of the mountains, now that I think about this for more than half a second. But, okay, we'll just we'll keep pushing against this unit, though. How many troops do you have? But really? Yeah, we can actually do this attack. We might want to. Let me see. Can we get this artillery? 44. That's not bad. Let's, let's do this. Let's move this artillery. Do bombardment. Because I think that this will end up going pretty well for us. Yeah, and it is. In a big, big way. Uh, took their spreading us down from 100 to 20. And completely eliminated any entrenchment that they had had. So this is just an easy kill. 97 to 1. My goodness. That's high enough that we might actually be able to just do it with two people. 49 to 1. Yeah. Let's do it. Looks like no losses. Very good. Just a surrender. Nobody's going to move, though, because we want to make sure that we have... In fact, this unit could even attack again if we attack this unit, which we won't, but these guys are done. So the only bombardment we can do on this unit is by using this unit, which only has 20 irregular artillery. Not very good. Alternatively, alternatively what? Yeah, that's a good question. Alternatively what, indeed. I want to start getting in position. I think I'll, I might leave this unit. Oh, we have two here. Okay, I'll leave that unit there. This one here. Oh, it's going to be better for us to keep pushing, actually. Oh, yeah, you can make it pretty far. Yeah, you, you can make it very far. So we want the more artillery, more of the tanks up here so we can eliminate more rebels per turn. That's my goal. Then down here, there's nothing else to do. Oh, we still have to finish up the rebels. Well, this should do it. And it did. <laughs> they didn't actually have to do it. They could have retreated, <laughs> which would have been terrible. But it was quite possible. Okay, well. I guess just move you guys back. You need to go over and take this, which we'll never get to otherwise. Pacifico Rebels. 
Um, we'll leave those guys there, and this is done. And I think that's it for the turn. It only comes down to now what to do with these few rebels, but I can't, I don't think. So we can attack or we could just separate them. I think we'll separate them. You can't attack now, but you can. So let's do it this way. Let's just do a three-sided attack. Operation successful. And that was perfect. We eliminated those guys as well. Very, very, very good. Okay, we'll move in here, we'll move in there, and we'll keep you here because it doesn't really help us to move. Hmm, but you can move, and I think we do want to move just to confine them. Keep them in one spot. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not sure. We may be completely okay with them moving out. So, let's do it that way instead. And you're holding them off mostly from getting to Alpha Base. But, yeah, I think everything else is fine. Okay, so let's, uh, let's end the turn. We're going to push a little bit faster. I'm not going to care too much about being perfect just so we can get a little further. Okay, cut, cut. And we're back. Seven decisions, but I, I left that screen a little bit early. Um, we failed at something that's not too surprising. I actually got really close. Oh, we have a new destroyer army order of battle. That sounds interesting. Let's go take a look at the, what that one looks like. Fate stratagem pack, disease. Sounds horrible. Gain nine bait points, though. My goodness. Boomtown, that's nice. I think that's a population increase. Probably not what we want right now, since most of those people will just go towards the rebellion. But eager industrialist, I'm actually really happy to see that. In fact, looks like we are now gaining enough political points that I can actually use such things. Let's go over and get the rebels out of the way right away. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll go. So I'm kind of used to this now. Sabotage. Um, uh, we'll go. pay him off, and flag peak, we will do nothing. Uh, we'll go. The great news is our cabinet is really happy with us. That's amazing. Everyone except for probably the most important person, which is the Economic Council, at least he's given the highest budget. Kind of funny, let me call this guy. I wonder if there's anything we can do. Maybe we can use a stratagem on him? We do have leader stratagems. Um, let's give him this Medal of Merit. Did we already do this? All I know is, if we haven't, we're gonna do it now. It takes 15 points though, yikes! Let's give him a bonus instead. <laughs> Although I think this is bad if they're susceptible to corruption, but... Affirmative. Do this. We actually failed. And relationships with him still improved. It's only... Um, I guess a critical failure means it won't go well. Um, happy family. Yes. Let's use this on the economic guy. He's already received this feat. Oh, man. <laughs> he's already happy with us. I mean, he's already got a... a weird, it's surprising that he's not doing that well. So what is this one, then? Plus 10 bonus to their charisma. That's not what I want. Actually, frankly, none of these are really what I want, and I, I want to save my political points. So, I think that's whatever we've done is good enough. Uh, enforcement reaches 55. I'm completely okay not to achieve this, so let's refuse that, which will drop our enforcement, and that's fine with me. Uh, victory points to at least 21. Morale 93. Oh my god, what are you, crazy? Our mining assets reach at least three levels. Well, that's ones we're gonna do. I don't even I don't even want the enforcement, but that's something we can at least achieve. And there is an option to stay vague and do not commit, which we probably could have just done instead. But um, yeah, I, that's actually something that Vic added along the way at some point. Military Research Council. I think that research is the priority for you, so we'll continue right, like man. that. And there's our decisions. We'll try to get to the end of this turn and just at least start the next turn. There's the rebels. Well, that's a very convenient location for me. Honestly, we can eliminate both of those. And that one is just like in the perfect position, just boxed off right there. How are things coming in these cities, though? I mean, eventually we don't want to f 
you know, have this going on forever. So let's take a look at the assets. One more turn left before both of those are complete, which is, that's good to see. Um, we have no metal in these zones. I feel like I we're better off if I just delete this until I have time to take a look at this. Or, I okay, I suspect what needs to happen is I have to manually transfer goods to Flag Peak, um, which is not like a surprising thing. But the problem is that, oh, we have no logic. What? Okay, that's bizarre. There should almost be redundant, I mean, not almost, there is a redundant connection. What is the problem? Huh. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm going to save this game here. I'm going to take a quick pause in the video, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to upload this to the forums. People who are smarter than me are going to help me out and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Okay, well that's done. I'll, well, we'll see what I learned about that. Hopefully something. So in the meantime, I guess we're not going to be able to do... Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to do something a little bit interesting. I'm going to send one artillery person against this unit. Hopefully do really, really good damage to them. Um, and then I'm actually going to send the tanks against these. And then everyone else, the infantry that are close by against the other ones. So hopefully we just do enough damage here. It does look like we've done pretty effective damage so that we can kill both in the same turn. So that's now the goal. 34. Yeah. And then switch and do bombardment. So you get six rounds still. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be very effective this way. I think this was a very smart decision. Okay. Yeah. Both of them got taken down pretty low. So... Who is available? I mean, we already have 10 to 1 odds, but we definitely have people in range to do uh, this attack as well, like this one. Um, you might actually be called down there, because you can move here. You can attack from... Well, you might be the better one to move down here. This is a little bit weird. You move here, you move here, and you attack. And uh, I think this is going to be enough. 55 to 1. Looks good. No deaths so far. That's music to my ears. Yeah, really good. Nice. And this unit did not get used yet, so we can actually use him in the attack as well. And you know what? That's good because I'd rather not use my HQ. And we're at 33 to 1, which makes me happy. We should be good there. Looks like 33 to 1 is going to be more than enough to take care of the problem. And it is. Fantastic. Okay, so we eliminated two rebels. That means we're actually, for the moment at least, rebel free in Flag Peak. But that does not mean <laughs> that we're actually out of the woods yet. Let's go over to our zones and see what we can do. We can actually increase private investment in Flag Peak. Good. So there's 400 credits, not a whole lot, but we can... Got to be careful about our, our points. Um, eager industrialist. So this is going to extra level pride industry. Okay. Well, let's execute that. I don't want Boomtown yet. So let's see how we're doing on um, industrial stuff. Just no points because we have no machinery. So what I was starting to say about this is although we don't have logistics, maybe, maybe that is the issue. Um, it's a little interesting to me that these uh, SHQs don't just transfer stuff between themselves. It makes me feel like I'm not ever going to want an SHQ. I'm only going to want one. I know that... I know that... I, actually, I think that's actually the way it's supposed to do, to, to work as well. <laughs> Alright, this guy's surrounded. So what if we just do an attack with these two? It's only 3.1. Okay, so we'll wait one more turn. There's only one place he can go, which is down. And I'd actually rather him just go this way, so we'll attack from five sides. <laughs> All the other sides. <laughs> and we'll get this guy back over. So we're no longer threatened. He's no longer a threat to move east, because he can't. 
And we'll get some more tanks up here to help out. And you're moving over to there. Get you up here. So you were a little bit out of supply last turn. I wonder if I can risk doing this. These are low mountains, so they're actually really hard to go back around. I wanted to do this just to push the zone of control further away from the viewpoint, but you know what? I'm not going to do that in the end. We'll just, we're just we going to head back. Kind of. This is pretty cool. So what's here? This is Zedalia. And I believe the AI does not have to pay for roads, which is why you'll see them kind of building roads all over the place. Um, what else? Um, well, I mean, it's 41 minutes into the video now. This might be a good place to call this video to a close in the series. So it's kind of cool. I mean, we haven't yet stabilized Flag Peak or Costello, but I mean, we're there. We're, so we've stabilized Omicron and it's just a matter of time. I don't know. I guess eventually we're just going to build up enough assets. I'm not sure how you get out of this loop. Um, hopefully it just eventually subsides. I don't know if there's like a... So a lot of other games introduce like a conquest issue. In this one, it's all related just purely to happiness, which is kind of fun and cool. But at the same time, you know, it's maybe difficult because you have this snowball. Without these assets. I mean, with the barracks, that should help a little bit. That should bring down unrest. Yeah, so that's the big thing. There's too much unrest still at 40. My goodness, that's a lot. And yeah, it went up by 27, so it wasn't even that bad until it was, what, at 13? Which is really, really manageable. But because of that huge upsurge, yeah, it went down to 4. Actually, it only went down over... It's at still at 1. It's not at 0. <laughs> I think it can go to zero, I'm not sure, but uh, it's not something you want to find out, right? Anyway, we'll bring this series to a close, but uh, for this last video, you know I always take my comments very seriously on the end of a series. If you made it this far, do you have any recommendations? In particular, if you have a particular planet type you'd like to see for the next series, let me know. I have not started it yet. I do have a multiplayer with Das Tactic, which is um, we're probably ready to start being published to the channel. I'll just talk to with him. I will talk with him about it, and we'll see what he says. Um, you know, maybe that'll be in the next series. But uh, release date now, I have an official release date. It's June 4th. Um, not that I found this. I think somebody even posted a comment about it, but other people have been posting about it. I've seen it commented about in my Discord. So so there you have it. June 4th. We don't have much longer to wait. Just uh, not even a whole month. And then we'll be you'll be playing this game with me. And I am planning my Dune Arrakis planet type series for... The, from the very get-go, from the V1.0 release. So I'll be excited to bring that to you, but we'll, we'll squeeze in something in the middle um, before the release. We'll squeeze in one more. But until the next series, thanks for watching this one, and, uh, and take care.